So today's video is all about the prep work on getting the transmission out of the car. First thing we're gonna do is show you how I got the um, car in the air with the wheel cribs. Uh, these things are super slick, very nice. Definitely something that you need in your um, garage if you're gonna be working on your Mustang. And so we're gonna get the car in the air, we're gonna drain the trans fluid. I have a deep capacity pan under here. We're gonna get that drain. That's gonna be the end of part one. Part two is gonna be removing everything else from underneath the car to get the transmission to drop. Sneak on the track on the track on the track Sneak on the track on the track What you want What you want Today we're going into part one of the transmission, not exactly a rebuild, but it's a couple of things I'm gonna take care of during the off season. The first thing is I have a new torque converter coming. Now the torque converter I have in here right now is from a company called Roadrunner. It's a 10 inch, I believe it's advertised as a 35 to 3700 RPM converter. When I foot brake the car, it pretty much, um, I can only foot brake it to about 24, 2500 RPMs and it'll start moving. So it's not quite as advertised, but I've had that converter for about two years now and it's just not a good match for my application. Way my um, tune is, as soon as the car leaves first gear, it locks the converter. So a single disc, you know, economy converter is, is not ideal for my setup. So I went with a Circle D. It's a bullet um, triple disc setup. I believe it's a 35 to 3800 stall. Perfect for, um, for what I'll be doing in the car, which is a street and strip car. With this converter, the best 60 foot I could pull off was like a 1.9. And that's on the foot brake. So definitely excited to get that piece. And also, when I do get the new Circle D, I'm going to send the Roadrunner in to a company called Torque Converter Rebuild, I believe. Um, at Torque Converter Rebuilders. They're based out of Arizona, they're on um, Instagram. I'm gonna have him rebuild that Roadrunner converter 
probably make it a little bit looser and I'm gonna give it away. So there's gonna be more details on that as soon as I um, pull the old converter out and get the new one. And the other thing that I have going on is I rebuilt that torque converter, not the torque converter, but I rebuilt that 4R70W that I have in the Mustang right now last year. And a couple upgrades I did to it was I did a um, Sonics forward drum kit and uh, extra capacity um, direct drum on that. So I don't know how many clutches are in the Ford and the direct, but um, definitely more than the stock clutches, better clutch material than those two pieces. But what I didn't do is um, I didn't change out the intermediates. Now, they weren't in bad shape. You did have a little, um, a little scoring on the ones that was in there, but uh, as far as drivability, I haven't had any issues out of that, but I really wanted to upgrade to the Alto or the Revestus. I couldn't find anybody that had them in stock, so I just went with the OEM Ford um, intermediate clutches. That's the part number. I think uh, Jerry in his article, the 4R70W article, he gave that part number. Um, as far as getting a little clearance, this is a thicker steel. So I'll um, have a little wiggle room on my final clearance of, of my thrust. You know, um, basically, you know, you take the measurement of this um, intermediate assembly and the actual housing has a, a clearance and you would take the, um, the clearance between the clutch package, the clutch packages, and the housing, and you you subtract those two, and it will give you a number. That number corresponds to the color of these um, thrust washers. So I got to take the front pump off. So I've got a new gasket, a new O-ring for the front pump. Pretty much everything in that transmission has been rebuilt, but I did not do the intermediate so another thing in case you didn't know v6 this is a, a 4r 70 w out of a v6 if you have a small block and you want to put a a 4r 70 w or yeah just pretty much a 4r 70 w on your small block you can find one from a um, 3.8 mustang with automatic it, it boasts directly to the bell housing but uh, i forget what year they only had three intermediate clutches on those. And after a certain year, they all went to four. So I believe if, if you're gonna put a 4R70W behind a small block, get one from a 2001 or 2002. Those have the most revised parts in them and they have the extra intermediate clutch. 